Democratic voters in Florida say that their party affiliation was changed to Republican without their knowledge or their consent. And this happened after people showed up to the public housing they live in to renew their voter registration. CNN did a pretty good video on this where they went to the public housing where most of these residents live and they asked some important questions. Let's hear their stories. 77 year old Juan Salazar is a Democrat, or at least he used to be. In December, Salazar says someone wearing a bright red baseball cap approached him and switched his party affiliation without his consent. You were a lifelong Democrat. From 1978. And now all of a sudden you're a Republican. I'm a Republican. And you don't want to be a Republican. I don't want to be. He says it all happened at his housing complex in Miami, Florida. It's home to elderly low income residents who speak little English. He says he now believes it was a Republican who told him he needed to update his registration. But keep in mind, in Florida, once you register to vote, there is no reason to update that registration unless you want to make a change like your party affiliation. That was not the case with any of the people we spoke with. This is the old card. That's an old card. And it says right here, Democratic Party. Yeah. And the new card says Republican Party of Florida. And that's not what you want. No. I want to be Democrat. Uh, so there are Democrat voters who are also Cuban in South Florida, which is exciting. Here, here. Uh, <laughs> Mainly but, younger voters, but uh, look at our friend there hanging in. Much yeah. love. So um, I hope you guys didn't miss this one important point there, which is. In Florida, you don't need to renew your voter registration. Once you're registered, you're registered. The people who came to renew registration lied to them, right? So that's lie number one. And then uh, there are now multiple cases of people saying, I'm, I'm a Democrat, they switched my party affiliation to Republican without my knowledge or consent. The report, by the way, comes after a similar finding in December in which an 84 year old Little Havana resident and lifelong Democrat was reportedly duped by a third party voter registration group into switching her affiliation to Republican. And as far back as 2020, another Florida woman was investigated after allegedly switching multiple voters registrations to Republican ahead of the presidential primary against their will. Uh, it's also important to know that in the state of Florida, they do not have an open primary system. Meaning if you're a registered Republican, you will not be able to participate in the Democratic primary election. So uh, it does have some consequences. Other than that though, I, I don't, what are they doing? Why are they doing this? And, and we do have some serious suspects here, which we'll get to in just a second, but Jake. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit weird, but they do every kind of trick in the book. Uh, so maybe it's to discourage the, the voters when they show up and find out that they can't vote in the primary. Maybe they think they can't vote in the general, uh, general confusion. Maybe they get confused and think they're actually Republicans. Uh, maybe they uh, don't want them voting in Democratic primaries based on certain things. Like they would, Republicans generally love running against corporate Democrats because the, the conservative Democrat will come and say the Republicans are right about everything. Mm -hmm. Super easy to beat them. It's the easiest thing in the world. Uh, but I doubt that they're that sophisticated. Uh, and there is some tiny, tiny percent chance that it could backfire. Uh, probably not for DeSantis, but but it all those Democrats, if they go and actually vote in Republican primaries, could vote against DeSantis. Uh, and so think about. It. I mean, if yeah, there were some Democrats who uh, you know did some organizing and some actual work. They could find a way to use this to their advantage. Even, I mean, if they're not gonna use it to their advantage in that way, how is this not a big deal? Like, how are they not? Can you imagine if Democrats were caught doing something like this? Oh, my election oh, fraud, election fraud, is, Trump's actually president, we know it. It would be right? the biggest, but aside from Trump, it would, Republicans would make this the biggest story in the country, not just today, not just for the rest of the week. We're talking Rogan level attention, okay? <laughs> Where it's all anyone wants to talk about for weeks on end, um, if not months on end. Now with that said, who are the suspects here? Well, someone actually has a really important piece of evidence, which is also included in this next clip. Let's watch. About 10 minutes from where Juan lives, we found another woman who says her voter registration was changed from Democrat to Republican. She lives here. She didn't want to go on camera, but told us a woman had knocked on her door and told her that she needed to update her voter registration because it had expired. 
That woman's daughter sent us these pictures her mother took of the woman she says recently changed her voter registration. Look closely at her ID. It says RPOF. That stands for Republican Party of Florida. The woman's daughter says her mother signed the form, but says after that, someone checked the box Republican Party under party affiliation. And her daughter says there is no way her mother could have checked that box on her own since it's in English and her mother doesn't speak or read English. It is not legal to fill out the form for people. Yet the woman's voter registration was still changed. That's her old card on the left. It reads Democratic Party. Her new card on the right shows she's now registered with the Republican Party of Florida. You know, one other thing is Governor Ron DeSantis has been bragging quite a bit about Republicans taking over the state of Florida. Yeah, there you go. That's probably the best explanation, Anna. I was thinking that it could be at the local level where somebody's gotta fill a quota. And they're like, well, it's super hard switching Democrats to Republicans. But it isn't hard if you just check off the box yourself, right? And then I could brag about how many people I flipped to Republicans in this area. But you can get fired doing that and that's a dangerous thing to do. But if the Republican Party of Florida wants to pretend that Florida is super red Mm -hmm. because DeSantis is a genius and should run for president, then they would have a good incentive to flip a lot of Democrats into Republicans and fraudulently. And fraudulently, and then claim, you see how much Flor- Floridians love DeSantis, right? So that is a potential explanation here. One last thing for me. In 2012, uh, there was a giant voter fraud scandal where Republicans uh, had actually changed votes, right? Uh, and uh, Nancy Pelosi said we should not emphasize it. Because it'll only help the Republican framing on voter fraud issues. Oh my God, she's the worst. She's the worst. Like my favorite thing in the world is when Republicans think attacking Nancy Pelosi will trigger us. (laughs) Let's throw a party, homeboy. I'm ready for it. Are you kidding me? She's embarrassing. Obviously, we dislike her for opposite reasons, but nonetheless, she is. I mean. Leader, that's a leader, Democratic yeah. leader. So I bring that up because, it, so whether it's this, or remember they had to redo an election in North Carolina because, mm-hmm. again, Republican uh, Congressman's staff did the fraud, the voter fraud, yep. right? So they had to redo the whole election. But you barely ever hear about it because Democrats are the most incompetent party of all time. I mean, they got if a it fundraise, was, so. Yeah, <laughs> so. So if, like Anna said, if it was Republicans, they'd be holy hell about it. Uh, Democrats have all these terrible things happen. They're like, "Uh, don't say anything, don't say anything. They're constantly afraid of Republicans. It's just so pathetic. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.